Dear students, now we are going to discuss superposition theorem and its significance in detail. Superposition theorem is based on the concept linearity. So it is mainly used to analyze the linear complex circuit which is having more than one source that is multiple sources. So here we can consider a linear circuit with more than one source. So in that circuit the response either voltage or current of an element in any branch is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses of that element obtained from each source individually. So here we can consider a circuit which is having two voltage sources. Here we are going to find out the current through this R2 resistor. So for that we are going to find out the current through this R2 resistor due to this V1 voltage alone at the time this V2 voltage is short circuited. So next we are going to find out the current through this R2 resistor due to this V2 voltage source at the time V1 voltage source is short circuited. Do you all understand this one? Finally we can add these two current values to get the overall current flowing through this R2 resistor. So that is the concept of superposition theorem. Do you all understand this concept? So the response of an element in any branch of the complex circuit with more than one source that is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses of that element obtained from each source separately. Okay. So next we are going to discuss the steps used in the superposition theorem. So the first step is to select a single source alone at the time short circuit the ideal voltage source open circuit the ideal current source okay so we have to short circuit the voltage source open circuit the ideal current source okay we have to select only one source at a time so after selecting the single source then we have to calculate the current or voltage of an element using suitable network analysis method that means any method like ohm's law current division rule voltage division rule mesh analysis nodal analysis methods to find out the current or voltage so we have to repeat the above two steps for all the sources individually and finally we have to add all the individual responses to obtain the response of that particular element Next, limitations of superposition theorem. As we discussed, it is only applicable for linear circuit. So, it is not applicable for non-linear circuit. Hence, it is not applicable for power measurement because the power is directly proportional to the square of the current that is the non-linear function. Okay. And finally, the applications or advantages of this superposition theorem. So it is mainly used to analyze the multi-source complex network and also to find out the voltage across or the current through any given element of that complex network.